For the first step, we're going to head over to search and then type in CMD. We're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once we're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. You can run this scan in the background as you do the next step in the video. Head over to search and then type in control panel. Click on it. When it says view by next to category, you want to make it large icons. Then you want to click on programs and features. Now once you're on this, you want to uninstall all of the Microsoft C++. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on uninstall. Do that for all of them. And then once you uninstall all of them, you want to head over to the link which will be down below in the description. And then you want to download Visual C++ latest version for 64 bit. So you want to get this download right here. Then you want to install this to your computer. For the last step, we're going to head over to search and then type in CMD again. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once we're on this, we're going to type in NETSH space WinSock space reset and click on enter. Once you do this, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.